software engineering resources part 10 so i've already put out nine videos on this series and it's become evident to me that a lot of people are you know they they need a little bit of structure in their lives and they're looking to find a starting point with learning software engineering i'm getting comments like hey fong where do i learn to program hey fong how do i learn software engineering Hey Fong, what resources can I do to get started with software engineering? And with all the resources that I've put out so far, they're typically, you know, unstructured self-learning type of resources. So you kind of go on, you pick something, you kind of do it, and then you jump to something else, and then you pick something else, and you do it, and so on and so forth. Looks like I'm going to have to step my game up a little bit and provide people a resource that's going to be on par with a lot of the software engineers out there, you know, where they got their education, everything, I'm gonna have to do that. And I'm gonna do it for you right now. Quick pause, if you haven't followed me already, please follow me. I'm trying to help as many people as possible get into software engineering and then get them to a point where they can call themselves senior engineers. I can't do that if I don't have exposure on this platform and, you know, people interacting with my videos and giving me a follow would help me quite a bit. So, you know, if you haven't already, please give me a follow. You can help me help others. Uh, yeah, let's get back to the content. Fire up GitHub and go to ASU Computer Science. It stands for Open Source Society University. This is an online computer science curriculum that's fully structured and completely free. It strives to be equivalent to the formal education that you see in a lot of universities out there, but you can also do it at your own time. It teaches you all the software fundamentals, but it also teaches you theory and math as well. It's great, so you can really learn a lot of things here that you normally wouldn't be exposed to if you were trying to self-learn with project-based learning. Speaking of project-based learning, there's a fun project as well. Also a set of specialized courses. They'll even evaluate your performance. Listen, if that wasn't good, I don't know what is. That is enough to get you started with software engineering and then be able to do pretty much any project out there. So uh, let me know if you like that. That was definitely probably the best that I can do for getting into software engineering at the fundamental stage. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you enjoyed that and you enjoy the rest of my content and the rest of the series, there's a lot more coming out. So follow for more.